All right, welcome back everybody. Real quick in and out video describing an issue that we have kind of learned the hard way regarding the 223 Valme AK magazine market. In short, the market is complete bull crap. Um, for those of you that are uh, big into the Milsert game or the AK game, these are, I guess, highly regarded AK variants. I mean, that's fine. Um, this is neither here nor there. I'm not, going, not doing a gun review. Uh, notoriously, the 223 magazines have a reputation for being extremely expensive because I guess there were really no significant countries that adopted this firearm in this caliber. So these original Valme 223 magazine were going for anywhere around $150 to $200 a piece. As of right now, if you can find them, the 30 rounders, $300. Some people are asking $350. They're not really getting 350, but these are selling for between 250 and 300 all day. As a matter of fact, 250 at this point for a real Valme magazine, I think is probably a good buy. My understanding is, and I'm not an expert, all the Valme collectors would know this, is I do not believe there are that many Valme 223 magazines available in the United States, real ones. And I even had heard that some of these original Valme guns didn't even ship with magazines, they were so short on magazines, which, you know, is the quickest way to kill a gun if you can't get magazines for it. So, let me explain to you what some of the problems are. In the market, you've got two types of magazines. You've got the original Valme mag, you know, right here, and then you have an aftermarket magazine that was made, that's, uh, my understanding is this is made from an HK33 mag, and then they've put a, a, a collar at the top of the magazine. This was made to work in the Valme aftermarket. Some company came up with this idea. Typically, I, we have found these magazines. Uh, if you get them, quote, new old stock or new, they'll come in these white boxes wrapped in plastic. They're supposedly new unissued. The problem is you will see these magazines listed for sale on the internet as real Valme magazines. That is not true. They come marked either as, let's see if I can get this on video here, LIQ, is that L? Yeah, that's, they either come marked as LIQ, I don't know if I can get that on, or MCP. I don't know what the difference is between those two markings. They seem identical, like maybe it's a, a different run or a generation. I don't think it's two separate companies, but, you know, that I'm not the person to ask. Here's the problem. The prices of Valme magazines have gotten to be so expensive and prohibitive that people are selling these copies asking $200, $250, $300 for these. Um, or you're even seeing them listed, say, $150 as real Valme magazines. And I'm not crapping on anybody that lists these as real Valme magazines if they don't understand that they're not and that there's a significant issue. The problem is these magazines, if you just need a magazine for your gun and you just want and you just want something to plink and something to feed and have it not blow up your gun, I'm sure these magazines are fine. However, if you're into the run and gun game and you're looking to be an AK guy and you want to shoot on the clock and you want to do fast magazine changes, you need to be aware that sometimes these, uh, these uh, aftermarket magazines don't always present themselves correctly in the uh, magazine well. Let me demonstrate. Regular Valme magazines. even the small ones. Now for the aftermarket magazines. LIQ.
Holy shit. Sometimes you can get it, sometimes you don't. Typically when you're having that problem, what it is, is the magazine is slightly twisted in the mag well. It'll be a little off, but what the reason is, the, uh, the collar that is put on these aftermarket mags doesn't really do quite a good enough job to guide the mag body into the well. So if you don't hit it just right, like that, it can bind up on you. And that is, there's enough of a difference in these magazine types that it's a little different than standard AK magazines. MCP marked magazine. All right. Now I'm going to try to do it knowing what I need to do different. I got it. Try to do it again a little faster. I got it that time. Now, got, got it with that. Let's see if I can go back to the LIQ magazine. Got it that time. Here's the difference between the two magazine types. In my right hand, which I guess is going to be on maybe on your left side of the screen, is uh, a real Valmay 223 magazine. In my left hand is the aftermarket HK433 modified magazine with the collar. There's two issues between these two mags that I think is the determining factor on this. The first part is the, the nose, the hook on the nose. The hook on the nose of a standard, let's see if I can get it to focus in, on a standard Valme magazine, it's a fairly substantial hook. I mean, it, it could be bigger, I guess, but compared to, if you see the hook on the aftermarket mag, it's a little smaller. And that's your critical starting point. That's your guide point, your go point, when you start rocking a mag in. You have to, kit, you have to rock it in, and you have to get that hook on the front of the, of the uh, mag well to get, it to, come, to get it to all come back in. The second issue is the guide is high up on the front of the, uh, of the magazine body. On the aftermarket, the guide really only starts down here at lower parts. So a critical area to try to, to, to get your direction in is not there. So when you're trying to hook it on the nose and if you're a little bit off, you end up riding into the mag well crooked and that causes your binding issue. So that's your major difference. You can see it pretty clearly on the front of these magazines. Here's the difference in the hooks on the nose. I shouldn't have to explain which one's a real Valme magazine and which one's a copy. It should be pretty obvious. Holy shit, discovered another problem. These are the two aftermarket mags, and I happen to notice one of the mags, when closing the bolt on the AK, it was dragging. Feed lip inside of the, uh, the magazine has become deformed just from riding the bolt back and forth. So I'll take some pliers and bend that back, but man, I mean, these aftermarket magazines are a shit show. This is a, they're a nightmare. I, you couldn't give me these damn things. And people will spend the money on these, that's a joke. So here's the takeaway. <clears throat> if you're looking to get a 223 Valmy AK rifle, and you want that AK experience, so you can work on the manual of arms, and loading and charging, and being able to translate that into other guns, the real Valme magazines are the way to go. If you just are a Milserp collector and looking for something to plink, you can get away with these. But th it's gonna bite you if you're trying to transfer that skill over to other guns, if for whatever reason, that's a goal of yours. So over here at the Armory, since we have figured this out, we have obviously, we have a decent supply of of real Valme mags. I mean, at 300 bucks a piece, just this pile and this here, that's $1,500 of magazines right there. Um, we will not be buying any more 
of these LIQ MCP magazines. And actually, I mean, if you even wanted to give us one, we're gonna refuse it because we don't think the juice is worth the squeeze on them at all. And we figured this out, we paid the money for it and, sp and, 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 and spent, the, spent the time. So until we were able to secure enough magazines to figure this out, we didn't want to say anything until we were absolutely sure. So there you go. Um, if you like this kind of content, check out the blog page, john1911.com. It's j-o-h-n-1911.com. We'll do some follow-up stuff and videos and, and shooting and, and demos showing some of these issues. And um, remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.